recreational resort cottages. We're gonna go in and check this place out too. All right, so you got the list there? Yeah, and a key. Okay, so we'll go look at like 10 of them today. We're gonna start off at number 30 here at recreational resort cottages. How much does this one cost? 110. So this one's got a nice little porch. They're trying to make it look like a whitewashed log cabin. Oh, it's got the loft in it. How many square feet is this one? That's actually got two bedrooms in it. I've never seen this one layout before. Four, well, 399 square yeah. feet. Because if you're 400, you got to pay oh, yeah. property taxes on it. So this one's actually got two little bedrooms in it. You got the uh, bathroom, the walk-in shower, vanity, full-size fridge. Huh, what do you think? Yeah, I like it. I like the fact that it has a second bedroom. Are we going up? Yeah, we'll go, no. Oh, yeah, oh, got it. It actually has a third bedroom because yeah. you can go up there. Yeah, a little loft up here. How cool is that? All right, number five. Now this one is $98,000 and it's 399 square feet. Again, it's got a porch. Okay. It's amazing how when they lay these things out, they just feel different. Of course, it's got that uh, stairs, the little loft up here. Okay. Got the one bedroom, low ceilings, washer dryer hookups back here. It's got a walk-in closet. You usually don't see a walk-in closet on these. Yeah. This one's got it. Got your mini split. It's back here. All right, got your bathroom, walk-in shower. Ninety-eight grand. Okay. Not bad. Let's go see the next one. Yeah. All right, so this is number 45. Again, 399 square feet. It's $108,000. See what we got over here. A little porch. You got an exterior fireplace. <coughs> Metal handrails. Now this one's got tall ceilings in it. Mm -hmm. I like the kitchen in this one. Definitely more spacious uh, living room. It's got the loft again. Now, the, I wish they would put the storage under the stairs like yeah, they've done on some of the other ones. The yeah. Here's your one bedroom. Again, it's got those low ceilings. Here's your bathroom. Washer dryer hookup right there. But at least it's spacious inside here, you know? And I like the... Uh, I like the wood ceilings. 108,000, 399 square feet. There's a bunch of them over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go check out number 29 right here. There's people coming out now. This is 600 square feet. It's 105,000, so basically it's the same price as a 399 square foot one. Uh, the difference is you're gonna have to pay property taxes on this one. Okay, now this is really livable here. So you got a good size living room, nice couch set up, probably nine and a half foot ceilings. I like the center island. You can sit two there. It's probably two bedrooms as well, being this many square feet. We'll find out. Oh, I guess not. One big bathroom. Okay, so you see this house may not even be allowed into the resort community because it's got too many square feet. But big bedroom here. It's got the sliding barn doors. So you could get a king size bed in here. I think it's prepared to, for building the porch. Yeah, and this has, a, this has a back porch on it as well. See that back there? This is nice. Um, and for the same amount of money, I'd rather have the bigger one. But it defeats the purpose of having a property that is tax free no property taxes in the state of Texas. 105,000. Make sure you guys comment below which one's your favorite. 
All right, so we are gonna go in number two now. Now, number two is the least expensive one on the lot. It's 399 square feet, and it costs a whopping low $75,000. Okay. Cathedral ceilings. You can put your couch there, your left seat. You can put a little fireplace there and your TV right there. Um, this is your bathroom. Keep in mind, pretty much everything we're seeing is 399 square feet. So you can get a queen or a king size in here. It does have the cathedral ceilings, two closets for 75 grand. What do you guys think on this one? We're gonna go see number 22 now. Now, the top of the line houses are the Platinum Cottages. And they're made in Athens, Texas. I've been to their factory before, and they do probably the finest craftsmanship. But this is 399 square feet. And again, this one is 85,000. Got a little island. In, oh, it's islands on wheels, so you can roll it around. It's got a big loft up there. Does this one have the storage? No. No storage. Okay. Now this one does have a Jack and Jill bathroom, so it means you can walk in the bathroom. You can walk straight into the bedroom as well, as well as make a circle and go back out through the door. There's your mini split. The ceilings in here are like 76 inches, or actually 78 inches tall which is like six foot eight. So pretty low ceilings. What do you think? 85 grand. I remember when these things like five years ago were like 60 grand. So they've gone up about 30, 40%. Yeah, in just four years. Okay, let's go see another one. So this is number 27. And uh, like that one was 87,000, this one's 90,000, but it's 534 square feet. But you're gonna lose the opportunity to, to pay uh, zero property taxes on this one. Oh yeah, it's a lot bigger, a lot bigger. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that wraparound kitchen in there, big kitchen. Now this is fun here, you know? If this was up around, say, Fredericksburg, Texas, where they have a lot of these houses and those uh, little resort communities like Firefly, which we drove through, this one's definitely livable. Yeah, that extra 134 or 135 square feet makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, you could get a king size bed in here too. Got your sliding barn door on your closet, cathedral ceilings. Washer dryer hook up right here. Yeah, this is nice. Very pleasant. All right, so this is number 36. It's 399 square feet. It's 110,000. It's probably a platinum based on the price. See, some 399 square foot ones just seem bigger. I like these uh, stained cabinets. Full fridge, tall ceilings. You do? Yeah. Bathroom's not very big. What do we got for a bedroom in here? Yeah, you could get a queen in here. I guess you could almost pack a king in here if you wanted. I like the ceiling fan. Now this is nice, it's just a little small for me though. There's your stackable washer and dryer. All right, number 36, 110 grand. What do you guys think? Just in case you guys want to go bigger, this is 1,150 square feet, and it costs 125 grand. Now, of course, you're paying property taxes on this. But let's take a look inside. It's probably going to have two or three bedrooms. Oh, yeah, this is like a regular house. Yeah, this is nice. Kitchen's over there. Yeah, this is real nice. This thing for 15 grand more, you could have something like this, but it kind of defeats the mini house 
purpose, you know. Uh, this must be the guest bedroom, but you got to, actually, this is probably the master. Got a walk-in closet. There's your private bathroom. So this definitely two, at least two bathrooms. There's your washer dryer hookup. So you got your pantry here, full-size fridge. Kitchen. What we got here? Another bathroom? Oh, another bedroom. Okay. Bedroom number two for the kids. All right, bathroom number two for the kids. It's roomy. And of course, bedroom number three, which is almost as big as the king. Yep, or the master suite. And of course, you got a side door as well over here. Yep. Yeah, this is nice. But it's not a mini house no more. I mean, it's just a regular manufactured home. This is number 35 here at Recreational Resort Cottages in Rockwell, Texas. 399 square feet, and it's $109,000. Uh, it seems tiny compared to that last one, doesn't it? But there's your love seat. Put a little entertainment center in here. Now, this is going to have like 12-foot ceilings in this one because it's going to have a loft. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this little room. Now, this is, uh, this is laid out for like some lady to have it. And of course, you got two lofts. You got one up here. And then there's another loft up there. You go up the stairs and turn left, you have a second loft. The bedroom is teeny weeny. I'm talking teeny weeny, like one full bed, maybe a queen. <laughs> it's, it's not very big. This is definitely the smallest bedroom I've seen. And one, they gave up the bedroom to have that uh, vanity room. Where's the bathroom? Okay, here's your bathroom. I do like the walk-in shower. Wow. Yeah, they give up a lot of bedroom to have that room right there. But if you're a lady and uh, that's what you want, what do you think? 110,000 bucks, basically. Okay, so this is number 13 from Platinum Cottages. It's uh, 86,000, so it's the second least expensive one that we're gonna see in today's video. I like the porch. You like this? Yeah, it's very wide open. It's got that big loft, so you got that railing. It makes the bunker, the bunker, the mini house seem smaller. I mean, bigger, good God. I got bunkers on my brain. Okay, bathroom's definitely bigger. You can maneuver in this bathroom, has low ceilings. Now, I'd probably like this one without the loft, honestly, because, uh, ooh, yeah. different bedroom, yeah. You've got your drawers built in, so you got a chest of drawers kind of built in. That's a queen, or is that a full-size bed? I think that's a full, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is a full. Um, washer dryer hookup right here. Okay, number 13, what do y'all think? So this is number 34, it's 399 square feet. How much was it? 93,000, oh wow, look at all this wood in here. Wow, this is cool looking. I like this. Okay, so you got kind of a love seat set up here. I guess you could squeeze in a couch, put your TV right there. You've got uh, 11 and a half or 12 foot ceilings, lots of wood. Now this one will probably have the drawers built in. Yep, it does, look at that. So you got your drawers right here, which I like. Yeah, it will open up. There you go. And of course, you're gonna have this little loft up here. Yeah. Okay, washer dryer hookup. Bathroom with the Jack and Jill door. Walk-in shower. The bedrooms aren't very much, but I mean, this one's actually wide in this one. So this one, you could get a king-size bed in here. You got your two sliding barn doors in here to get access to your clothes. You got drawers built in. I actually like this one, you know? And do you have enough room to entertain in here? I guess you probably could. You got a rollable island. This was how much? 93,000, number 34. It's one of my favorites, that's for sure. Oh, look at that one. That was cute. 
So this is number 32. Let's go check out 32. He says it's 96,000 and it's 399 square feet. Now your porch and your railings. It's similar to the last one we just were in. A little different. It's got more of an oak feel. The other one had more of a walnut look. But it's basically the same layout. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, steps in the stairs. It does have the uh, loft up there. Here's your bathroom. Same thing with the bedroom. It's got that width. I like these wider homes uh, more so than the narrow ones. There's your mini split. 32, 32. I like the one previous though, better than this one. This is number 31. This one's 87,000 and it's 399 square feet. Now you can tell this one's probably what, 11, 12 feet wide. That one's definitely wider. It's like a 14 or 15 foot wide one there. I personally like the wider widths. But let's see how this one lays out. Oh, different. Wow. Yeah. This window was I love the designer who comes up with these ideas on these mini cottages they're really unique what's this staircase over here wow wow that is so cool all right bathroom pretty small bathroom not a lot of maneuvering in here enough room for one person washer dryer hookup what we got for a bedroom eh, not much of a bedroom either Low ceilings. But you have a big uh, living room. To yeah. That. Yeah, you're not going to spend your time in the bedroom anyway, yeah, except for sleeping. Yeah. So for entertaining, this one's got plenty of room. I like the counter. Of course, it's got a little electric fireplace down there as well. Overhead ceiling fan, vaulted ceilings. Number 31. This is number nine, it's 83,000. So this is the second least expensive one we've seen. Here we go. All righty. You said 83,000, right? Yeah, it's similar. Yeah, it's similar. Very similar. The other one had kind of a carpeted steps right here. Yeah. But this one's got a big loft up there for storage. Um, you know what I do like on the ones that we saw at the uh, Firefly Resort place was that they had porches on them. So the porches yeah. led down to other porches, which I really liked. It's like the other part of the house. Yeah, so I do like a mini house with a porch. Of course, you can build it right off the front door as well. Again, you could get a queen in here, not much more. I guess you could cram a king in, but it'd be very, it'd be all bedroom all bed in the room I meant to say yeah I don't love this one it's still nice they're all nice I just don't love this one do you like the railing though yeah. all right so this is number 37 it's 399 square feet and it is 90 grand it does have a porch so you can build off of this and it's wide so it's one of those 14 15 foot wide ones which I do like the wide Boy, this one smells brand new, don't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got the loft. Uh, it's got the storage under the uh, steps, which I do like. It's got a pretty good sized bedroom. Okay. It's got a walk-in closet. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, good size walk-in closet, washer, dryer hookup. It's Jack and Jill, right? Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill. That is right. Okay, feels kind of small, don't it, though? Mm, yeah. Yeah, but I like it. So we're going to do one more and then we'll be done. So I'm going to do 33 over here because it's got that sloped ceiling on it now. 90,399 square feet. It looks pretty narrow. Let's see how this uh, sloped ceiling turns out. 90 grand. Yeah, it's got that modern feel in it. Um, they put the island, you see, they put an island right here in the middle, um, which kind of cuts into the, uh, the living room area. I don't know if I agree with it. It's, I don't know if it's removable or not, but uh, 
it's built into the house because it's got running water. Very small bathroom, but walk-in shower. It's got a tall guy like me, I can get in there. Again, small bedroom, sliding barn doors. Same way we put into our Atlas survival shelters to close off the bedroom. Uh, this one does have a closet at least. Okay. Well guys, that's about it. So comment below which resort cottage was your favorite. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and make sure you check out my bomb shelter videos as well.